Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today we are going to do some uh, tire changing on this semi here. We've got some tires that are becoming shot. We'll put some new ones on or some new recaps on and put some new virgins on that push rack because you can't put recaps on there because they twist too much and it rips the recap right off. kind of going to all virgin tires now instead of recaps but we still have a lot of recaps on hand upstairs the reason we're changing is the price difference is not that much of a difference versus virgin tires or recap tires it seems like the virgin tires have a lot better tread on them a lot deeper tread so we're going to start here by removing what we call cat eyes but they're equalizers basically what they do their brand is crossfire you hook each hose onto each independent tire and it equalizes them, keeping equal pressure inside of both tandems. Also, if one gets a hole in it, it will not let the air go to the other tire. That's kind of the advantage with it. It's got a little check valve in here, so if you blow one up, you still can run because the check valve trips and shuts off airflow to the other tandem. Also is really nice because you hook your air truck to that and away it goes and it pumps both tires at the same time. Also very easy to check. When the lines are straight across from each other that's the proper air level. If it gets low it turns black, if it's too high it turns red. So with all that talking let's get to work. Just like that one's done. Now the inside one's a little more difficult because you gotta reach your arm down in here like that. Kind of a pain. So a little bit of secret to that inside one for insulation and removing of it. I take this hose off here, off the outside tire. I just loosen that, crack that loose, and then take all of your lug nuts off, or just this one, so that this can come out and then you can just spin this whole thing as one and it will unthread it from the valve core and it just speeds the process up and you can do it um, installing also. It's a fast little trick there. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, you're awfully dressed up to come to the farm. Never know when I'm going to be in a video. Oh, jeez, I almost ran into something. <laughs> so once you remove this here, this is what I was talking about before, you can just do this, your number. There it is. Definitely worth the money. They're on Amazon, that's where I get them. This here thing is on there because this is a steel rim. That's an aluminum rim. Steel and aluminum fight each other, so you have to put this plastic thing in there or it's suggested to I don't think you have to but if you buy a trailer like this that's how they come the reason not to do aluminum all the way around is because aluminum is more costly but it is lighter so you do drop some weight if you did all aluminum but it's all about the bottom dollar don't dent the chrome that this is. one's all chopped so that's why that's shot is it and chopped means it's got waves on it. How that happens, I have no idea. Probably the trailer in the line. Dolly thingy majigger is sure handy. Yeah, it is. That I bought on Amazon too, and I broke the handle off on like the first day. I had to weld that back on. <laughs> Look at this one. This is just a single tire. <laughs> I'm assuming you're here because I'm bringing dinner. Look at that. You're bringing dinner, but there's now a uh, meeting, meeting, a township board meeting in our office. So, well, 
you smell nice. Who's this Thank you. Wow. Another nice smeller. A lot better than chest. My body sweat don't smell as good as yours. Yeah, you know, it's more that white paper. So I found something out while editing yesterday of you two, is when you're both standing back to back, Eric's got a little more junk in the trunk than Chet's got here. What are you talking about? <laughs> Squats. <laughs> there you go. I'm down on the wrong side. I gotta get a knee dinger. Oh, one of those? Yeah. Wow, that sure looks clean. Here I am. Here's Watch. Randy. Yeah. Washing my dad's new 74 Ford. Look at that thing. Yeah. We could have done away with some of the rust on there. Uh, things done a lot of work around here. It's pretty. Doesn't do much anymore. And honestly, I mean, even the rust on it isn't that bad. Not for 74, huh? Your dad will be so happy. Oh, it's all about daddy. <laughs> That's right. Here's the thingy dinger. Whatever you call it. Valve store. Valve it's store? Really valve little. Remover. Take this out. Depressurize your tire. Very loud and watch your eyeballs when oh this God. thing comes out. I try to catch it. Why do you look so scared? Wait till I get all what are you talking about? <laughs> Pretty loud in here. Let me do this side. broke on those ones. I'm gonna save one or two for Eric to learn on. I also want to see Nikki try to break a bead on this thing. So so you hold your hand nice up here. It can't go any farther down than that. So now if you were to pull out on this and hold here, when you yeah. slam it, it's going to eat your you. meat really bad and okay. really painful. Hold the shaft firm. Yeah. Then you place the bead breaker right nice on the edge of the rim there. Hold here, hold there, pull back. Slam it down and let it hit okay. nice and hard. And Sorry. we're going to uh, watch here. Hold on. So now angle the tool like that, about like yeah. that. And then I'm gonna slam it. You're gonna slam it, that's plenty far out. There, now slam her down. Again. Again. There you go. Ah, it's Good. Done. Yep. I did it! <laughs> so basically that breaks the tire off of the uh, rim so that you can use this tool, which you have to do that to both sides, so you gotta flip that over. We are now going to lube the tire. We are gonna lube it. Lube. So you can buy tire lube for this, which I ran out of, so I just use soap and water now. Just lube it all up so that friction is lessened. Nobody likes friction. Nope, it's never good. Uh, you gotta be careful where your valve stem is because you don't want this tool functioning at that. And this goes in like this. That was fancy. Put this down, back here, push that down. This is how you end up face meeting a wall. Go like that. Then you put your fingers here, gently lifting, drop it, magically hooks to the other side. <laughs> and you do the same procedure. And that's all. That's it. Oh, that's nothing. So that wasn't too bad, no. That's how you take the tire off. Now to put the tire on, we gotta use a wire brush just to clean that up so that the new tire seals nice and clean there. Show you later how that all works. So now we're gonna polish up the edges of the rim. So basically it's just a wire brush on a side grinder. Grind it, clean it up lightly not too aggressively just to get any of the old rubber off. So you get a nice tight seal with the tire. That's the way we do it. I don't know if it's the right way. So I'd be glad to hear in the comments below suggestions. This works, but there's maybe a better way. Is there blood on your hand? Oh yeah. I'm bleeding. Hold my Larson Farms apparel hat. Nice. And you look good. What can I, I say? Wear, I always wear the full face shield when using this thing because it throws needles. That's why you have it. So oh, what is the safer area for me? There's nowhere it's safe. I don't like that option. See, 
See how nice that is though? Yeah. Compared to this here, that allows the tire to seal a lot nicer. One done. Perfect. That one's ready to be remounted. <laughs> We're gonna go make sure Eric's doing his job right. Are you doing your job correctly? We're just checking up on you. They probably thought that food was for them. Oh, they're probably eating it all. They better Something not be. That yeah, was a hip flexor muscle. Uh, uh, before, let's say I was in stage one with a small. Now I've got a stage two, which is more pain and <laughs> discomfort. Rippage of the muscle. She's torn. <laughs> and so, did you go to the doctor or something? Or? I Googled it. Yeah. <laughs> as good as the doctor. So prescribed hip flexor. What just happened that all of a sudden we're having a, a tr truck cleaning party? I seen him touching my pickup, so I thought I'd better find It's the bugs. It's all about the guts. I already did it, so they'll see how to correctly do it, and now you... You got it first try. Yeah, well, that's because you explained wait, more. How many did it take you? Two. <laughs> okay, I got both sides in one hand. I did two, yeah. so don't think you're so funny. Step on this now. Push it down. Come and stand right here with your other foot. Now you try as you stand and just keep going. Watching your teeth as it kicks back. Try you didn't do it right. Go in there. Well, you did it right. It just didn't want to this not slide. Jiggle, jump. Jiggle, <laughs> jiggle, wiggle. Now bend it back all the way just like you came from. You gotta stand on that rim again. Go all the way to the floor with it. Well, I think I got that down so I don't need to do any more. <laughs> we need four new players. Safety first. Standing on the safety pedal. Good lord. <laughs> God, they're glued together. Why does it seem like I'm the only one struggling? <laughs> I ate my weighties this morning. Hey now. <laughs> okay, all aboard. We got our selection. Take one. Kid couldn't wheel a tire down the hill. <laughs> Removing is always a lot more easy. There's my shower for the day. <laughs> Have to hook this. This teeny lip that likes to fly off on there and you just work your way around it. If you take too big, big a bite, you're gonna eat your life. And then once you own the tool, putting the new valve core thing in. Get that going. Plug your ears. Now we only normally put enough air in this to keep the bead held. We bolt them on and that's when we pump them up because we don't have a cage to hold these and if it was to explode, someone would be hurt. Eric's going, my turn, my turn. <laughs> It does sometimes pop out, so watch your midsection and genitals. Okay. <laughs> yep. There it is. Too big a bite. I'm gonna go right in between my legs. <laughs> Uh, 
That's his first tire he's ever done. Unless you've done this before. You've done this just, before? Just not here. <laughs> so am I teaching you how to do it right or am I? Oh, I think you're doing right. Down like this. There you go. Forward. Yep, there you go. He just did his first tire here at Larson Farms. Please follow and subscribe and all that Thumbs other stuff. Up. They Thumbs do. up. Thumbs <laughs> up. So now we can't get this one to seat for whatever reason. The tire looks like it's punched in. So I'm gonna go get the ether and the torch. We're gonna blow something up. Now that Nikki left, we we're allowed to do that. So the thing about this ether trick is that you never know what's too much. He's trying it one more time. It didn't work. So, I was kind of hoping that didn't work so we could try this. Put your hose on there. You gotta set this up so that we can run. Wait, what you're... Lock, lock. This thing is a piece of junk. <laughs> Lost it. Yep. Here I thought I had it. I was celebratory, <laughs> dancing, shooting the song. Sure. I feel it necessary to say that I would never suggest using ether in open flames, but we are gonna, but you're not. Are we ready again? Yep. I don't know why this is such a stubborn bugger, but it is. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why won't it be? We tried everything and it won't. We tried ether, we tried the cannon, and the son of a buck will not go on. We should need. Here we go. This has never happened. I've never experienced this ever. It just ain't working like it's supposed to. We need a cannon that's double that size. Something with some woo, like that fire. <laughs> this is unbelievable is what this is. You taste that? Whoa. Tastes like Sam. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit of ether gravy in there. <laughs> You gotta want it, boy! I still don't trust it. This is probably the one still not needed. I think so. Oh. Oh. This tire is taking longer than all the rest together. <laughs> okay. So that's how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got the, these put back on and put the cat eyes back on. Now we're pumping. This is pumping both of them at the same time equally. We do not fully, we barely get enough air in there just to hold the bead so that it's safer. So if one of those blows up right now as I'm standing here, it can't kill me, hopefully. 
or go flying around. So I normally don't just hang around by them as they're pumping for that reason. Also just stay away from it. Uh, you can literally stand 20 feet away and just see the level of the color of the eyeball there of the cat eye and know if it's pumped up or not. But I've never had one explode. That's not saying I've never had a flame ball come out of a tire like that either. We don't do it much, but we do do it. I don't suggest it as you've seen. We were lucky today and did not get hurt. Uh, but it very easily could have gotten hurt there, guys. So honestly, don't do it unless you absolutely have to. We ended up getting it with our air cannon with a ratchet strap and just a lot of time. Uh, but it's time is better than getting hurt and safety is number one issue. So you learn from our lesson today. Thing could have went really bad. Luckily it went good. But we are going to continue to get these tires on here. Get this trailer all buttoned up. We'll have to get some more tires to put on there from town. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. And don't forget to give a subscribe and a thumbs up. Because you never know. It just seems like we have some crazy stuff that happens to us. Whether it's because we're stupid or stuff just happens. Or maybe the Lord's just blessing us with good enter entertainment for you guys. I just hope it don't hurt any of us because of just accidents because so much stuff can happen so quickly so quickly thanks for watching guys i appreciate it have a good rest of your day or evening